everyone. Hope all of you are doing well. Welcome back. Very happy to have you here. In this episode, I am going to give you step by step instructions on how to bridge to the root network. The root network is live. It has been for a few months now. Me and Hooded are so excited about this. Futureverse is always pushing forward and developing. This is a huge, huge step. So I'm gonna be going over everything in this episode that you will need to know. Before I begin, if you are feeling the content on this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It really, really helps us out. We very much appreciate it. All right, let's get right now to it. All right, in order to access the bridge, you are gonna need to go to the Root Network website. If you are new to Futureverse and want to learn more about the Root Network, I recommend taking a look at the Root Network website. There's lots of information. You can learn all about it here. The bridge is over here. You just need to click on Root Network Bridge and it's gonna take you to the token bridge. In order to bridge everything, you are gonna need two wallets. You will need a MetaMask, and you will also need a Zoom wallet. Before beginning any bridging, you will need to add the root network to your MetaMask wallet. Best way to do this is to go to the root network discord. You're gonna go to general right here, and then you're gonna go to pinned messages. It's gonna have all the information you need to enter to add the root network to your wallet. Be careful adding any network to your wallet. You need to make sure you're getting the correct information. You can get hacked if you do not put in accurate information. I like to go to the source. This is the root network discord. You know it's legit. So this is where I would recommend going. Again, just go to general and then click on the pin messages scroll down a little bit and your information is right there. You will then need to manually enter it into your MetaMask wallet. The Zoom wallet runs on the XRP Ledger. This is a mobile only wallet, so you will need to download it and set it up on your mobile phone. You need to have XRP in your MetaMask in order to pay for gas. So I currently have zero XRP in my MetaMask. I am gonna show you how to bridge XRP to your MetaMask wallet. You have to have a Zoom wallet on your mobile in order to do this. So if we go to the bridge here and we click on the XRPL network, we can now enter how much XRP we would like to bridge over. We are gonna be bridging it to the root network here. And this is my MetaMask wallet address. Also, before you can do any bridging, your MetaMask needs to be connected to the token bridge. So make sure you do that. So here is my Zoom wallet. I currently have almost 13 XRP in here and we are gonna transfer some of this over to the root network on my MetaMask wallet. One important thing to mention about setting up a Zoom wallet, in order to activate your Zoom wallet, you are going to need 10 XRP just to get it activated. You will need to go to an exchange and transfer it into the wallet. You can see here that I have 12.9 XRP and then below that it says reserved 10. So that's my 10 XRP that's reserved. So just keep that in mind. All right, so in order to transfer over our XRP, we need to go to the token bridge and enter how much XRP we want to transfer. So we're gonna transfer 11 XRP from my Zoom wallet to the root network on my MetaMask wallet. So everything is entered. I got my wallet here. I got the amount. I have all my networks 
the way they need to be. What you're gonna need to do is hit generate transaction. It's gonna bring up a QR code. You will need to scan this with your mobile phone. If you click the middle button down on the bottom of your Zoom app on your phone, it will bring up this screen and then you're gonna scan QR code. You will need to use your Zoom wallet to approve the transaction. So I am going to slide and accept. It's verifying. Transaction is submitted successfully. Close that out. We are now gonna see down at the bottom that my 11 XRP is bridging over to the root network. You will have a timer that you will see anytime you do a bridge. Allow this timer to finish before doing any other bridging. So I'm now waiting for my XRP to transfer over to my MetaMask wallet. All right, so I waited for my timer to run out and we can see that it now says bridged. If I jump into my MetaMask here, I now have the 11 XRP that I transferred over. So now that my XRP has been bridged to my MetaMask on the root network, I'm now gonna show you how to bridge from the Ethereum network. We have these three network options on the token bridge, XRPL, Ethereum, and then the root network. I'm gonna show you Ethereum now. Again, you'll need your MetaMask linked in order to bridge anything from your Ethereum network to the root network. I'm gonna be bridging Asto. I have 1900 Asto. I want all of this to be bridged over to the root network. So same kind of steps as with the Zoom wallet. I'm gonna be entering in how much Asto I would like to be bridged to the root network. You're gonna to wanna to put the address. If it's the same wallet, you can use that. If it's a different wallet, make sure you put in the correct address so that it gets bridged over to the proper wallet. So once everything is selected, you're just gonna wanna hit bridge. It's gonna require you to put in a custom spending cap. I'm gonna go ahead and click max. Next. There will be a cost in Ethereum, so keep that in mind. You will need Ethereum in your wallet in order to proceed. So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm again. Transaction is pending. Again, keep in mind, you will need Ethereum to bridge your tokens. So transaction succeeded. Again, as before, there is a timer and I will need to wait until the ASTO finishes its bridge. All right, we can now see that my 1900 ASTO has been bridged. If we go to my MetaMask, this is the root network. I now have 1900 more ASTO than I had to begin with. My XRP has been bridged over to the root network as well as my ASTO. You can also bridge silo if you are wanting to do that. You would just follow the same process. So that's it. That's how you use the token bridge. One other quick thing I would like to mention is if you are wanting to add any tokens to your wallet, this is the place to do it. I actually had Asto added to my wallet and it was not the correct address. And so it wasn't showing up. Be sure that you add tokens via this page right here. These are the correct addresses. All you're gonna do is click on here and then you're gonna wanna copy the address and manually add it to your wallet. I hope this tutorial helps all of you. If you have a question, or just want to show us some love, please drop us a comment. We would very much appreciate it. 
And also don't forget to sub, like, and hit that notification bell. It really helps us out. I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Till next time, I'm out of here. Drop music.